Hi there, my name is Jordan Tasha from The Lesson Space and welcome to another video in the Lesson Space video tutorial series. In today's video, we are going to be going through an in-depth view of the Whiteboard tab. The Whiteboard tab is a collaborative space for you and your students to draw shapes, add text, add equations, add resources, and many, many more. So let's get started. At the top of your whiteboard, you can see a number of tools. The first tool, the Select tool, allows us to interact directly with elements on the whiteboard. In this example, I am moving an image around with the Select tool. Next, we can move our canvas around with the Move Canvas tool. The third tool is the Drawing tool, which allows us to draw a line on the whiteboard. Choose your line length, then your line color in the Line Color drop-down menu from the Color tool. You can also hold Control to draw a straight line in the case that you do not want to freehand draw. Next, we have the Highlight tool, useful for annotating PDFs or highlighting any element on your whiteboard. Use the eraser, our next tool, to erase anything you have drawn or placed on the whiteboard as well. Our first core tool is the shape tool. Once you have chosen a shape, you can choose an outline color and a fill color for your shape. Here I have chosen the square shape with a blue fill and a yellow outline. Hold Ctrl on Windows or Command on Mac to draw an equilateral shape to retain the shape's dimensions. Now add some text to your whiteboard. Text color will change based on the line color from the color menu. Click anywhere to start typing your text. Our second core tool is the Equation Editor tool. With Equation Editor, you can insert a formula or even a graph of your equation. This is extremely useful for mathematics or science lessons. Let's write a basic trick formula like f of x equals 2 sine of x squared and let's click the button that says Insert Formula. Let's also get a graph depiction too. We can also resize our graph very easily. How cool is that? Finally, let's end off the basics with an extremely useful tool, the whiteboard floating menu, which allows us to quickly change any existing shape, image, or text that you have already on your whiteboard. The first button allows you to change the color and the outline. We can lock the item as well in case you don't want others to accidentally delete your drawing or image. We can duplicate the element or send it forwards or backwards as a different layer. And then of course, we can delete the element by clicking the last trash icon. The floating menu is very useful and can help you streamline your lessons by giving you efficient tools at a glance. Now, some of the last tools that I'm not going to speak about too much in this video include a tool to add some graphing paper as a background to organize your whiteboard a bit better, an undo or redo button, which is quite self-explanatory, and a zoom button. I often use the zoom to fit option so we can frame our whiteboard easily. These tools will be discussed some more in our advanced whiteboard tutorial. And that's it for the basics of Whiteboard. There are tons of features that you can mix together to create some really awesome lessons, and you can do even more. So be sure to check out the advanced Whiteboard tutorial, which includes using the Resource Drawer, a powerful tool for adding resources from an image library. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed the video, and see you soon. 